What's up, everyone? If you're wondering what you're looking at, no hostages beyond this point. That's just an articulate little cover that I put together for my book. Many of y'all know that I've been writing in this book. I expound upon my nearly 15 years being housed in solitary confinement, some of the suicides, abuses that I've seen, my struggle against the tyrannical system and how I became a political prisoner fighting advocating for the rights of these men and for y'all's right for y'all's rights as taxpayers and as loved ones of these men who's housed in these places to have a right to know what's going on in here and also for the correctional officers who's forced into these conditions to work in these conditions and forced into excessive overtime constantly written up for being too inmate friendly, for simply treating the men as humans. And I talk about my life of crime and ultimately my road to redemption. This book has been years in the making and I've literally had to write it, rewrite it, write it, rewrite it. Cause every time I try to send it out, the administration goes all the way out of their way to restrain my first amendment <clears throat> and make sure that I can't get this book out to y'all. I have lots of statistics in here and just lots and lots of experience in prison. As y'all can see. It's been a lot, a lot of memories, time and effort put into these things put into this thing. You see right here, some of the content, chapter four, combat zone environment. Yeah, so, y'all just, y'all just be on the lookout, man. As y'all know, I'm relentless, I don't give up. I'm not gonna break to the administration. Overall, it's my first amendment right, and I'm gonna keep fighting until we're able to restore some type of resemblance of humanity to these places and close down these institutions of death and this incubator for insanity, man.